Hi, I'm Karthik. I run Bespoke Data Insights. We are a, a management and data consulting firm. So what is data science like in practice nowadays? People talk a lot, lot about, like, they get involved in the technicals. They talk about how much data they have, how many variables they have. And they kind of just stir the pile, not really answer the business questions. So rather than focusing on the business problems, people end up focusing too much on the method and how cool it is and so on. And there was a point of time when knowing different data science techniques was a source of competitive advantage. Oh, you do deep learning, so let me give the project to you. But now, if you look at pretty much any kind of uh, uh, data science technique or machine learning technique, a tool called scikit-learn, which is a Python package, has pretty much democratized it. Using three very similar lines of code, uh, I hope you can see that there, you can move from something like a uh, logistic regression, which is like the most basic uh, technique, to something like a advanced neural networks. So in that sense, the uh, uh, competitive advantage now is not in terms of what techniques you know. It's more the differentiation is going to come more from the business focus, whether you can come, come up with the right hypotheses, ask the right questions, and so on. Again, you have a lot of people who kind of obsess on the data and start with what data they have in order to kind of do some data science. But then you can uh, end up looking for your wallet under the lamp post rather than where you have actually dropped it. Uh, in case you can't read it, the guy who's searching says, no, I lost it in the park, but this is where the light is. And that's the mistake a lot of companies make in the way they deal with data. And the, uh, as, uh, so you need to start with the business problem. Solving a problem using data is no different from typical problem solving. And also, it's important that you steer clear of biases. I think we have a lot of cases that are coming out nowadays on bias in AI. If you have any kind of uh, bias in your input, that en ends up in bias in your output. And then like you can uh, you, you mistake correlation for causation and uh, a lot of fall into a lot of other biases. So, the, so what do we offer? We basically offer three different kinds of programs. The first one, which might make sense for a few businesses here, is the data diagnostic which is a one-day uh, program where we talk to you, look at your data, and then come up with recommendations on how you can bootstrap your business to use the data that you're collecting, how you should collect the data, and how you can take your business to the next level with the data. Then the other hypothesis we have is that companies don't get a lot out of their data science teams because it's a bit siloed. The data guys can't talk business. The business guys can't talk data. You say unsupervised learning, and the entire business section of the company goes to sleep. So how do you expect uh, to work in that kind of situation? So the training programs we offer, both for the business side, data science for managers, and business for data scientists, helps bridge this gap. Then there's the business consulting using data, which is more or less the bread and butter of our business, which is like classic strategy consulting, except that we do it using data. Any questions you ask, we uh, start with the business problem, use a hypothesis-driven driven approach, and then go into the data and look through all the data that you have and like that you don't have, and uh, use proxies, and then like come up with end-to-end -end solutions so that you end up with a business solution to a business problem, and you don't need to know what really happened in the middle. Some poetry to end. Thank you. So I'll just ask you a very quick question. So, and you may not have an answer to this. Have you got any insights or anything you can give us from something you've done with a fintech or? something you learned or? Yeah, for example, like one of the, um, so I've worked with quite a few peer-to-peer um, uh, -peer lenders. So one, one of the things that happens is like if you observe a lot of interviews with founders of peer-to-peer -peer lending companies, they're like, we use 1,000 data points to make our lending decisions. We use 2,000 data points for underwriting. And then one of my clients, they said like, look, we are giving out loans to small businesses. And the only thing we have is three months bank account. And then just based on the three months line-by-line -line bank statement, we were able to kind of, um, uh, generate, tell the whole story of the firm in terms of uh, what their cash cycles are like, what their funding needs are, when they perhaps might need a working capital loan and whether they're go going to be able to afford it and so on. By just going from the business problem and then looking at the data, rather than saying this is these are the data points they have, let me, let me try and fit in the coolest technique in the market. Okay, thank you very much. Thank, thank you. you.